You and your friends draw your weapons to fend off the imminent attack. Only it isn't a monster. The old man claps a hand to your shoulder and barks out a laugh. It's up to you now. You don't even have time to say huh before the old man runs off. Then from behind you hear a rustling. As a monster leaps out at you. Looks like that old man's gotten you caught in the crossfire.
Excellent. Next time I see that geezer, he's gonna pay, you growl, stamping your boot hard. You can't go in there, that's the ocean. Pick up a scrap of paper dropped by some manner of my- Clearly whoever- You stash the scrap of paper in your pack and resolve to keep an eye out for the treasure on your travels. You hear a roar in the distance. According to the townsfolk, it is a very recent phenomenon. Rumor in the village has it that it might be the dragon. You set foot inside the inn only to be greeted with the great clanging of a bell. Congratulations, the innkeeper shouts above the joyous din. It would appear you and your companions are this inn's 10,000th customers. That means you've won the lifetime of free stays pass.
A troubled woman tells you that there has been a rise in thefts lately. She speculates the recession to be the cause. She claims that even the cold medicine she always has on hand has disappeared. She narrows her eyes at the crowd, suspecting there is a thief among them, and offers a reward for the return of the medicine. Your ears perk up at the word reward, and you immediately agree to help expose the dirty thief.
pick up a scrap of paper from the shore. I threw a mercenary sword into the sea, and in turn, true happiness was granted me, it reads. It might be worth trying yourself, if you happen to have a mercenary sword. You'd love to give it a try, only to remember you don't have a mercenary sword. You give up on the idea and walk away. You approach a woman sneaking around in a corner of town. Hearing your voice, she turns in surprise. You see a vial of cold medicine clutched in her hands. You explain that the person she stole it from needs it back. The woman begins to explain her own situation with downcast eyes. My poor little boy is bedridden, she says tearfully. He needs medicine, but I don't have any money, so I took it. Hearing her tale, you are overcome by sympathy and decide to look the other way. She thanks you and hands you something, apologizing for not having more. Medicine in hand, the woman leaves quickly. Now then, what to tell the other lady? You explain that you are unable to find the thief. Clearly saddened by the news, she explains that she keeps the medicine on hand for her husband, who gets sick quite easily. She laments that she may not have the money to buy more. Unsure if you made the right choice, you return to your journey with a heavy heart. 